Hello students, hope you all are doing good. Today, in this video, I am going to solve the problems from exercise 4.1 from the quadratic equations chapter of class 10. I have already given introduction about quadratic equations in my previous video. I have given the link in the description box. The entire concepts explained is there in that video. You can watch that video before moving on to solving the problems from the exercise. Okay. Now, I had already told you that the general form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. This is the general form of the quadratic equation where a should not be equal to 0. Right? This is the general form of the quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a should not be equal to 0. a, b and c are real numbers. Even if b and c are zeros, it is fine but a should not be equal to 0. Right? Now based on this, we are going to solve some problems. We are going to see some examples for this from exercise 4.1. The first uh, main from this exercise is check whether the following are quadratic equations. They have given us few uh, expressions. We have to find out uh, whether they are quadratic equations or not. Okay. So let us start from the first one. The first one is x plus 1 the whole square is equal to 2 into x minus 3. Now let us try and simplify the given equation into this form. Okay. a plus b the whole square formula. You all remember a plus b the whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So according to this identity, I am going to expand the LHS. So x square is a square plus 2 into x into 1 that is 2x plus 1. 1 square is 1 is equal to 2 into x 2x 2 into minus 3 minus 6. Okay. Now transpose all these to the left hand side. Okay. So x square plus 2x plus 1 plus 2x when it comes to the left hand side it becomes minus 2x minus 6 when it comes to the left hand side it becomes plus 6 is equal to 0. Okay. Now x I don't have any similar term to x square. So x square plus 2x minus 2x is 0. 1 plus 6 is 7. So x square plus 7. Now this is of the form this is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, it is a quadratic equation. It is a quadratic equation. Now you can ask me, Ma'am, there is only x square plus 7. The middle term is missing. Bx form is missing. I told you your b or c can be 0. But your a should not be 0. So your a is not, not 0 here. You have the x square term here. Right? x square plus constant term you have here. So this is a quadratic equation. Okay. Moving on to the next question. They have given us x square minus 2x is equal to minus 2 into 3 minus x. So let us simplify this. x square there is nothing to do much. So sorry, LHS there is nothing to do much. So x square minus 2x is written as such. Here minus 2 into 3 is minus 6. Minus into minus plus 2 into x, 2x. Now transpose whatever is there on the right hand side to the left hand side. So x square minus 2x minus 6 will become plus 6 when you bring it to left hand side and plus 2x will become minus 2x when you bring it to the left hand side is equal to 0. Because you are bringing everything to the left hand side. So you have to write 0 on the RHS. Right. Now here x square minus these two are the like terms. Minus 2x minus 2x. 
both are negative okay so when both are negative you have to add and take the same sign so i'll get minus 4x 2 plus 2 4 plus 6 is equal to 0 now you all can see that this is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where your a is not equal to 0 so this is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, x square minus 2x is equal to minus 2 into 3 minus x is a quadratic equation. That is the given equation is a quadratic equation. Now, we will check the next one, whether it is a quadratic equation or not. The next one is x minus 2 into x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 into x plus 3. So, let us simplify both LHS and RHS and then we will bring everything, segregate everything onto the LHS and let us check whether it is uh, similar to ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Okay. Now, x, this is x into x plus 1 x into x plus 1 minus 2 into x plus 1 is equal to x into x plus 3 minus 1 into this whole term x plus 3. This is how we multiply. I am just breaking down into, I am just going down to basics actually. So, x into x, x square plus x into 1 x minus 2 into x minus 2 x minus 2 into 1 minus 2 is equal to x into x x square plus 3 into x 3x minus 1 into x minus x minus 1 into 3 minus 3. Okay. Now what we will do? We will bring all these terms to the left hand side. Before that we have two like terms here in the LHS and here also we have two like terms. Right. We will simplify that first. And then we'll bring them together. Okay. So x square plus x minus 2x. One is positive, the other one is negative. So what should you do? You should subtract and take the sign of the greater number. So here greater number is minus 2x. So minus minus I'll take 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So minus x minus 2 is equal to x square. Here also one is positive, one is negative. The greater number value sign is plus. So, 3 minus 1 is 2. 2x minus 3. Now, I will bring all these on to the LHS. Fine. So, x square minus x minus 2 minus x square. There is a sign change when you transpose. Plus 2x will become minus 2x. Plus minus 3 will become plus 3. Is equal to 0. So, x square minus x square 0. Minus x minus 2x is minus 3x. Minus 2 plus 3 is plus 1 is equal to 0. Now you tell me is this of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Do you have x square term here? No right. You don't have x square term here. So this is not a quadratic equation. This is a linear equation right. So minus 3x plus 1 is not of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, the given equation, the given equation is not a Quadratic equation. The previous one, if you see, you have here ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 form. So, this is a quadratic equation. The given equation is a quadratic equation. Whereas here, you don't have it in the form of a quadratic equation. This you don't have x square term. So, this is not a quadratic equation. Fine. You can uh, take a screenshot of the notes or you can uh, uh, pause the video also to uh, note down. Fine.
Any doubts you can mention in the comment section. Now here I have taken question number 4 and 5. Okay. Let us check whether they are of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. That is let us check whether they are quadratic equations or not. Okay. Now you have to multiply x minus 3 into 2x plus 1. Now how do you multiply x into this whole term that is 2x plus 1. Then minus 3 into this whole term that is 2x plus 1 is equal to x into x x square plus x into 5 5x. Okay. Now x into 2x is 2x square plus x into 1 is x minus into plus minus 3 2 is a 6x minus 3 is equal to x square plus 5x. Now bring these two terms on to the left hand side. Now 2x square plus x minus 6x minus 3. So whatever is there here I have written as such no change. Bring this to the left hand side minus x square minus 5x is equal to 0. Now we will simplify by identifying the like terms. Okay. Now x square x square. 2x square minus x square is x square. Now x 6x and 5x. x minus 6x is minus 5x. Minus 5x minus 5x is minus 10x. Okay. Minus 3 is equal to 0. Now it is very clear that this is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Right. So x minus 3 into 2x plus 1 is equal to x into x plus 5 is a quadratic equation. Right. So we will write the conclusion now. This is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, x minus 3 into 2x plus 1 is equal to x into x plus 5 is a quadratic equation. Okay. Now, moving on to the next example. Here also we have to simplify left hand side and right hand side. Okay. Now, how do you multiply here also 2x into this whole term x minus 3 minus 1 into this whole term x minus 3 is equal to similarly here x into x minus 1 plus 5 into x minus 1. Now 2x into x is 2x square right 2x square plus into minus minus 3 2s are 6 6x six minus 1 into x is minus x Minus 1 into minus 3 is plus 3 is equal to x into x x square. x into minus 1 minus x plus 5 into x 5x five minus 5. 5 into 1 5. Okay. Now we will identify the like, like terms and simplify further. Now here only these two are like terms. And here also only these two are like terms. So we will simplify further. 2x square minus 6x minus x both are negative so we will add minus 7x plus 3 is equal to x square here one is negative one is positive so you have to subtract and take the sign of the greater number so here 5x is a greater one so i will take plus 5 minus 1 is 4 4x minus 5 now i will transpose this entire term that is entire expression x square plus 4x minus 5 onto the left hand side. I will bring them to the left hand side. So 2x square minus 7x plus 3. The sign will change when you bring it to the left hand side of the equal to. So I minus x square minus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0. Now like terms x square minus x square. 2x square minus x square is x square minus 7x minus 4x is minus 11x both are negative so we will add and take the same sign 3 plus 5 it is 8 is equal to 0 now from this what can you understand this is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 
right? So this is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, 2x minus 1 into x minus 3 is equal to x plus 5 into x minus 1 is a quadratic equation. Hope it is clear to you how to identify whether it is a quadratic equation or not. Now you can take a screenshot of the solution to note down or you can even pause the video and uh, note down the solution. Moving on to the next question. Here on the left hand side they have only given in the form of ax square plus bx plus c form. Only the RHS we have to expand according to a minus b the whole square identity. A minus b the whole square identity is what? a square minus 2ab plus b square. So here my a is x and b is 2. Okay. So a square minus 2 into x into 2. So 4x plus 2 2 is 4 b square that is 4. Now I will transpose all this. I will bring all this to the left hand side. Okay. So x square plus 3x plus 1. When I bring this to the left hand side the sign will change. So minus x square plus 4x minus 4 is equal to 0. Now we will simplify by identifying the like terms. x square minus x square is 0. Right. 3x plus 4x is 7x. 1 minus 4 it is minus 3 is equal to 0. Now, by now you can only identify whether this is quadratic equation or not. Right? Do you have x square term here? We don't have. Means our a is 0. Therefore, this is not of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, x square plus 3x plus 1 is equal to x minus 2 the whole square is not a quadratic equation. Quadratic equation. Now let us check the next one. Okay. Now let us take the next one. Here I have x plus 2 the whole cube. So I have to simplify that. For that I will be using the identity a plus b the whole cube. That is a cube plus 3a square b plus 3ab square plus b cube. Hope you remember all these identities. Okay. We are going to apply this here. Fine. Here my a is x and b is 2. So a cube that is x cube plus 3 into a square that is x square into b that is 2 plus 3 into a into b square plus b cube is equal to 2x into x square is 2x cube. 2x into minus 1 is minus 2x. Now this let me further simplify uh, the LHS part. Let me simplify this further. x cube plus 3 2 6 6x square plus 2 2 are 4. 4 3 is 12. 12x plus 2 2 is 4, 4 2 is 8. 2 cube is 8 is equal to 2x cube minus 2x. Now bring these two terms which is on the right hand side of equal to to the left hand side. So when you do that the sign will change. Each term sign will change. So x cube plus 6x square plus 12x plus 8 minus 2x cube plus 2x is equal to 0. Okay. Now, let us identify the like terms and simplify further. Okay. Now, x cube I have here. I have here one x cube term. So, this is one is positive. The other one is negative. So, I have to 
subtract and take the sign of the greater number. So here minus 2x cube is greater. So I will take minus 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So minus x cube. 6x square. It is uh, there, there is no like term. So plus 6x square. Then 12x plus 2x. So it is plus 14x. Plus 8 is equal to 0. Now you tell me, is it of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0? Of course, I have here x, ax square plus bx plus c. But I have one more term here, which is x cube minus x cube. That is, this is actually a cubic equation, not a quadratic equation. This is a cubic equation because the highest power, the highest power is 3, not 2. The highest power of the variable is so, this is a cubic equation. This is not a quadratic equation. Okay. This is not of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, x plus 2 the whole cube is equal to 2x into x square minus 1 is not a quadratic equation. Hope it is clear to you all. Okay, so this is a cubic uh, equation. The given one is a cubic equation. So that is not a quadratic equation. Even in this question, we don't have our x square term. Okay. This is a linear equation actually. So this is not a quadratic equation here in this case. Fine. You can take a screenshot for the notes or you can even pause the video and note down. Now we have reached the last question of the main. Okay. Now let us find whether this is a quadratic equation or not. Fine. So LHS, I don't have much to do. So I'll write it as such. RHS, I have A minus B, the whole cube, uh, for identity, that is X minus 2, the whole cube I have. So, I am going to use A minus B, the whole cube, identity, that is A cube, okay, minus 3A square B, plus 3AB square, minus B cube. I am going to use this identity here, fine. So, this is A and this is B, okay. So, here, a cube minus 3 into a square into b, sorry, a is x, a square into b plus 3 into a into b square minus b cube. Okay. Now here, LSS again, I have nothing to do. So, x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 is written as such is equal to x cube for the simplification of this 3 2s are 6 so minus 6x six square plus 2 2s are 4 4 3s are 12 plus 12x minus 2 cube is 8 2 2s are 4 4 2s are 8 now i will bring all these terms onto the left hand side okay so each term sign will change x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 this I have written as such no change. Here minus x cube plus 6x square minus 12x plus 8 is equal to 0. If you notice I have changed the sign of all these terms. Plus x cube became minus x cube minus 6x square became plus 6x square. Plus 12x became minus 12x minus 8 became plus 8. Okay. Now we will simplify by look. Uh, Identifying the like terms. So, x cube minus x cube is 0. Minus 4x square plus 6x square is plus 2x square. 6, 1 is, neg one is negative, 1 is positive. And uh, so, you have to subtract and take the sign of the bigger number. So, 6 is the bigger number. So, I have taken the sign of 6. So, 6 minus 4, it is 2. Now, next we have x terms. Minus x minus 12x. So, it is minus 13x. Both are negative. So, we should add. Then we have plus 1 plus 8. That is plus 9 is equal to 0. 
Now it is very much clear that this is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. The highest power is 2. Degree of the equation is 2. So this is of the form. This is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Therefore, x cube minus 4x square minus x plus 1 is equal to x minus 2 the whole cube is a quadratic quadratic equation. So by now it is crystal clear how to identify a quadratic equation. Right? Hope it is the, con the concept is very much clear to everyone. Right? Moving on to the next part of the uh, exercise. Represent the following situations in the form of quadratic equations. They have given us word problems. Okay, that is statement problems. We only have to express them in the form of quadratic equation. We don't have to solve it. Okay. As of now, you will learn how to form quadratic. If a statement is given or a word problem is given, how will you form quadratic equation from that? That is what you are going to learn now. Okay. Uh, the first question is the area of a rectangular plot is 528 square meters. So what they have given? They have given a the area of the rectangular plot. Okay. So for, uh, the plot is in the shape of a rectangle and the area of the rectangular plot is Five twenty-eight square meters. Right? Now, the length of the plot in meters, they have given the length of the plot as in meters, is one more than twice its breadth. So, they have given some information about the length and breadth in comparison with each other. Right? So, we have to write the equation now. Fine? So, let us assume, let the length of the rectangular plot b x meters and breadth b y meters right we don't know what is length what is breadth so we have assumed one variable for length and one variable for breadth. Now, in comparison with each other, okay, they have given us some information. Let us try to figure out, okay. Now, they have given that length of the plot, that is x, is so equal to 1 more than twice its breadth. 1 more than, so you will add plus 1, twice its breadth, 2 times of breadth. Twice means two times of breadth. So one more than. One more than means you will add plus one. Plus one to twice of its breadth. One more than twice its breadth. So 2y plus 1. Okay. Now they have given us the area of the rectangle. Right. So what is the formula to find the area of the rectangle? Length into breadth. Area of the rectangle how you will find? Length into breadth. Right. That is x into y is equal to 528 square meters. Now, I don't want x and y. If How will I solve when I have two variables? I want only uh, a quadratic equation in one variable. In this form, ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So, what I will do? I will replace this x with 2y plus 1 into y is equal to 528. Now let us multiply this. y into 2y is 2y square plus 1 into y is y is equal to 528. Now I will bring this 528 onto the LHS so that it becomes in the form of ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. See now 
I have got in this form a x square plus b x plus c is equal to zero. So this is how you form equation from the a quadratic equation from the given statement. Hope it is clear to you all. Moving on to the next question. The next question says the product of two consecutive positive integers is three hundred and six. We need to find the integers. Here also they are asking us to form the equation. We don't have to solve the equation. Okay, we don't have to find the numbers. Now what do they say? The product of two consecutive positive integers is three hundred and six. Now what is the meaning of consecutive integers? Consecutive integers means subsequent numbers. Say for example two, three, the subsequent numbers, four, five, the subsequent numbers. 26 27 their subsequent numbers or consecutive numbers right so now they are telling that the product of two consecutive numbers is 306 we don't know which are those numbers right so we'll assume them right we'll assume some variable for that now let the two consecutive positive integers be one is x what will be the other one here i'm not going to take y why? Because here they say that two consecutive positive integers. Just now we discussed, right? What is the meaning of consecutive integers? They are subsequent numbers. So the next number will be x plus 1. Say if 3 is my number, the next number is 3 plus 1. That is 4. So that is why I have taken x and x plus 1. Okay. So now they say that in the question... The product of two consecutive positive integers, so x into x plus 1, both are positive, is equal to 3 not 6. Fine. Now you multiply this x into x, x square, plus x into 1, x. Bring this 3 not 6 this side, so minus 3 not 6 is equal to 0. Okay. So this is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. This is of the form ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic equation. Fine. So this is how the equation is formed from the given statement. Moving on to the next question. Rohan's mother is 26 years older than him. The product of their ages in years 3 years from now will be 360. We would like to find Rohan's present age. So here also we are going to form only the equation. We are not going to solve the equation. Okay. Now they have compared Rohan's age and his mother's age. There's some information is given in comparison with uh, Rohan's age and mother's age. Okay. So let us now consider Rohan's age to be let Rohan's age be x years okay then his mother's age will be twenty six she is twenty six years older than him so x plus twenty six Rohan's mother's age is x plus twenty six because she is twenty six years older than Rohan. So let Rohan's present age be x years and his mother's present age is x plus 26. Okay. Now they say that the product of their ages 3 years from now will be 360. So before moving on to writing it in the expression form, we will just find out what will be the age of Rohan and his mother after 3 years from now. Okay. So say you are 15 years now. Okay, after 3 years, what will be your age? It will be 18, right? That is 15 plus 3, 18. That is, you will add 3 to the present age, right? So, after 3 years, after 3 years, 3 years from now means after 3 years, Rohan's age is, what, x plus 3. And mother's age is, The present age that is x plus 26 
plus 3. That is x plus 26 plus 3, 29. So after 3 years, Rohan's age will be x plus 3 and mother's age will be x plus 29. Okay. Now they say that here in this part of the question, they say that the product of their ages in years, 3 years from now will be 360. So I am going to multiply them since it is told product of their ages. So x plus 3 into x plus 29 is equal to 360. So now we will multiply this. Okay. x into x is x square plus x into 29 is 29x plus 3 into x is 3x plus 3 into 29. How much is 3 into 29? It is 87. 87 is equal to 360. Okay. Now, we will uh, simplify further. This is x square. 9x plus 3x is, sorry, 29x plus 3x is 32x plus 87. I'll bring this 360 this side. So minus 360 is equal to 0. Okay. Now simplify further. x square plus 32x. One is positive. One is negative. These two are like terms. Right. So when you subtract. You have to subtract. You have to subtract and take the sign of the greater number. Here 360 is greater number. Now subtract 360 minus 87. It is 273. So it is 273 is equal to 0. So this is the quadratic equation for the given statement. Okay. I will write it here if it is not visible once again. x square plus 32x minus 273 is equal to 0 is the equation for the given statement. The next statement says a train travels a distance of 480 kilometers. Train is traveling a distance of 480 kilometers at a uniform speed. If the speed had been 8 kilometers per hour less then it would have taken 3 hours more to cover the same distance. Find the speed of the train. So now here we will assume the speed of the train to be x. Okay. When the speed of the train becomes less. The time taken to cover the same distance. That is here the distance is 480 kilometer. The same distance it will take more time. Right. Because the speed is less it will take more time. So if the speed is more it will take less time. If the speed is less then it will take more time to cover the same distance. That is what they have told here. Okay. So let whatever you are asked to find, consider that as a variable. Let the speed of the train be x kilometer per hour. Okay, let the speed of the train be x kilometer per hour. Okay, now the time taken, time is equal to distance by speed. This you have learnt already. So the time taken when the speed is x hours is, is t1 is distance by speed. Okay, then the time taken when the speed becomes less distance by x minus 8. The original speed is x kilometer meter per hour. But the speed becomes less by 8 kilometer per hour. So x minus 8. 480 by x minus 8. Okay. Now the when the uh, train becomes slow. The, when the speed becomes slow. The time taken is more. That is it takes 3 hours more than the original time. Right. So that is why T2 is equal to T1 plus 3. This is the original time taken when the speed is x. When the speed is x minus 8. That is it becomes 8 kilometer per hour less. The speed becomes less. What happens? It takes 3 hours more than the original time. Okay. 
So, in terms of x, I will write this as 480 by x minus 8 is equal to 480 by x plus 3. Okay. Now, I will bring this 480 by x onto the left hand side. So, it is 480 by x minus 8 minus 480 by x is equal to 3. Now, I am going to take LHS. I have unknown values here. So, I am simply going to multiply this for LCM. So, this is equal to, this implies x into x minus 8. And for LCM, just cross multiply. 480 into x minus 480 into x minus 8 is equal to 3. Now, we will simplify this further. 480x, this implies 480x minus 480 into x is minus 480x minus 480 into minus 8. You have to multiply. Minus into minus plus. When I multiply, I get 3840 is equal to this x into x minus 8. I will bring it here. So, 3 into x into x minus 8. Okay. Now, we will further simplify this. How 480x minus 480x is 0. Right. Now, this becomes 3840 is equal to 3x square. 3 into x into x is 3x square minus plus into minus minus. 3 into x into 8 is 24x. Okay. Now bring this constant term onto the right hand side. So this implies 3x square minus 24x minus 3840 is equal to 0. Now all these numbers are divisible by 3. Right. All these numbers are divisible by 3. Now, I can divide this equation by 3. So, what happens? This becomes, I will write it here. x square minus 8x. 3, 8 is 24, right? Now, divide this by 3. That is, 3 1s are 3. 3 2s are 6. Balance 2, 24. 3 8s are 0. So, the equation is x square minus 8x minus 1280. When you solve this equation, you will get the speed of the train. Okay. Here we are asked to form only the equation. We are not asked to solve it. Fine. So, the equation is formed for the given statement. Hope it is clear to you all. Now, we have uh, completed this exercise. Okay. Hope all the solutions uh, were clear to you. Uh, the concepts were clear to you. Any doubts, you can definitely ask me in the comment section. I will respond. The next exercise will be solved in the next video. Thank you.